Today we are performing an OBD1 swap on a 1996 Camaro Z28. Why would you want to do this? Uh, because the 1996 OBD2 ECU in these vehicles is basically useless and in, anytime you try to flash a tune to it, it breaks. Well, not every time, but, but pretty close. It has a very high failure rate. So what we got here, we are going to put in this 1994 ECU. We are gonna move the knock module over from the 1996 to this ECU. We're gonna replace the knock sensor or sensors, depending on if it has two or not. We don't know yet. And we have an OBD1 slash OBD2 cable to USB. Um, and then we will plug that into our computer, upload a tune, get some data, make another tune, get some data, make another tune, get some data, give the customer back their car. Have a good day. All right, we are pulling the cover off of the old ECU. Next, we will break loose the knock module. Take it off and put it on the new ECU, the OBD1 ECU. The knock module is obviously located on the ECU of the OBD2 one. Take the little cover off. That was easy. Move it right over. Make sure our pins line up. Clipped right in. So now we'll just take our little cover. Put it in. Have to do something about these stickers, but you know what? That sticker's not even important. I'm just going to dig into that one a little bit. Put our screws in. And that part's done. We're having the knock module installed into the new ECU. We installed the new ECU, the OBD1 ECU, into the car. And now that we've got the OBD1 ECU successfully installed into the car, it's time to move on to the knock sensors. The knock sensor is located near the starter on this car, uh, down there, and it also is. Um, it blocks a coolant passage so so what I mean by that is when you when you take the sensor out coolant is going to come out so be aware of that now on the knock sensor for this vehicle you're going to want to buy a knock sensor for a 1994 Camaro Z28 because it is set up to run on OBD1 um, that is the whole point of all this so we've got 
our OBD1 knock sensor here. We have our OBD1 ECU plugged in. All of the plugs are the same, so that's good. Um, and after we do that, we will get the laptop plugged into it. Right now, we are reading the calibration from the OBD1 ECU that we got from AutoZone. We will, after we do the read, we will write the bass tune to the ECU, and hopefully it'll be ready to fire up and get some data logs. Now we are writing the new base map into the OBD1 ECU. We have our new knock sensor in place. Checked our fluids, we're all good to go there. And now we're doing some data logging. There is no check engine light on, the vehicle's running great. So I think we're getting pretty close.